everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week, I'm showcasing the Framed Florets Bundle. Um, we've got a whole suite called Fitting Florets. Um, there's lots of things that go with it, including this beautiful paper. Um, this is a sneak peek from the upcoming spring catalog, but the paper is only available while supplies last, and I think the paper is just spectacular. So I'm gonna show you how to make this card. We're gonna start with a stitched um, rectangle from basic white. I have a blending brush and some polished pink ink. Now I want this uh, circle to be really light and so I'm gonna ink up my brush and really get a lot of it off over here on the grid paper and then I'm just gonna start in the middle and go up from in to out, and that's about it. That probably almost is too much. I have a heavy hand, I always do too much. Oh, I still wanna add a little bit down here, make it a little bit bigger like that. Okay, stop, <laughs> stop, don't go any further. All right, so we've got a light, now maybe a medium <laughs> coating of polished pink. Now I'm gonna take my aqua painter and I'm just gonna flick some ink on here okay and I'm gonna use my finger to do it like that because I want little drops all right and I'm gonna kind of just leave it there for a minute well not even a minute a few seconds maybe 10 seconds and then I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm gonna dab it and it leaves those little speckled um, texture spots and you can do this you know multiple times if you want Let's see, I'm gonna do like this, and we'll see if we get a few bigger ones. The longer you leave it, the more they'll spread out and be white, whiter or lighter. But I just really wanted some texture back there. And let's see, we'll leave it. Let's see, dab a little bit. All right, I like it. Okay, so now we've got that piece. Now I'm gonna use one of the dies in this set. We've got several oval die situations in this set um we've they're, they're all frames um, but this one right here specifically is going to cut out those teeny tiny little hearts and give us a heart border now the hearts that come out of this um that really are the trash are so cute so i think that you should collect them and once you have enough of them make a shaker card with them because they're just the cutest see all those little hearts very cute. But for today, we're leaving them because we don't need them. Okay, so I've done some other die cutting already. I cut this little sprig, which is part of this set. I cut it out four times from Balmy Blue cardstock. I've cut out um, the smaller leaf out of Night of Navy. We've got a stitched basic white rectangle and then I cut the heart from the DSP it's the other side actually of this piece um, using the, the medium heart from the well I guess it's the second largest heart from the give it a whirl dies all right we're going to stamp this sentiment on the right side of this rectangle thank you with all my heart I love the font here on this all right, we've got a polished pink card base and I have cut my DSP four by five and a fourth. There is a free PDF that goes with this project as well as two other fitting florets. I spent a lot of time making a lot of projects with this suite because I love it so much. So if you are looking for ideas, make sure you hop over to my blog. All right, I put a dimensional in each corner and we'll put that right there. All right, now you can go about this several ways. You can, let's see, I feel like that needs to go over left a little bit, just a little bit. You can attach this and then stick your stems in with glue, but I think we'll, I'm gonna put the stems in before I do that. Um, since I've already made the card, I kinda know where they need to go. So I think we'll do that. Now I'm just gonna use liquid glue and I'm gonna kind of go up, straight up. And then this one, the second one, will go kind of out a little bit like that. Now these, we, um, if we put them on like that, they're gonna be going out that way, but we want them to fold in that way. So we'll just flip them over, 
cardstock has two sides so that you can use both sides. All right, now with your liquid glue, you guys, go easy. It's, it, you don't need a whole lot. And if you put too much, it's gonna squish out and leave kind of a shiny mark where you don't want it. All right, now I am gonna go ahead and put this on and I'm gonna put my dimensionals towards the middle so that I can slide those Knight of Navy leaves in there on the side. All right, like that. Now we'll take these. I love this color combination, Knight of Navy, Balmy Blue, and Polished Pink. All right, now our little heart, we're gonna put right here. How sweet is that little heart? So cute. All right, now we've got two um, embellishments for this. Um, this is called Pearlized Enamel Effects. It comes in a pack of three, and the white is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to actually add the white to each little rounded berry end of the sprig. Um, you know, I can't really explain to you how pretty this pearlized color is. Um, it's just very, I don't know, it feels very fancy. And these will dry in about, oh, I would give them a good 15, 20 minutes. And then they're hard, like embellishments. But let me tell you, they're not going anywhere. They are stuck on there. So if you, you know, sometimes our pearls fall off, but you're not going to have that problem here. All right, so I've got my Starry Sky Baker's Twine. Now, Starry Sky isn't the color we used for this card, but... It goes really well, I think, with Knight of Navy. It's very close. So we'll put that right there. And there we have a beautiful thank you card. All right, now let's look. You can change that sentiment. We've got birthday wishes. We've got so lucky to call you a friend for a special person. Lots of options. All right, you guys, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget that paper is while supplies last. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.